Now before I start, I would like to tell you guys that I'm now creating GUI interfaces for installing themes and most of it can be done using the scripts or uh, the GUI interface that I'm providing in the link down below. So you can just go there, click on the link and download the software from which you can literally install this theme, this entire theme, just by with a click of a button. That's all you need to do. So do check it out from the link down below. Now the next clips, I've recorded them on my Linux machine uh, directly. So due to some problems, I guess my microphone sounds really bad. So please do refrain from using your uh, headphone. You can listen to the audio on speaker. So I guess it will be a much better option for you. Hello everyone. So I always make GNOME customization videos on Ubuntu, but this is the time I'm making it on Arch Linux for a bit of change. So I recently discovered some new extensions which I'm going to share with you guys in this theme. After this, I'm also going to make videos on DWM customizations and uh, window manager customizations because many of you guys were asking. And yes, I'm not getting I was not getting time because of my college admissions and all. So it's all, finally it's all done, almost done. So yeah, I'll share with you guys which college I get into if everything gets finalized. Okay. So uh, first, open the browser, whichever browser you're using. So for me, it's probably Firefox there. Yeah, it's there. So open Firefox or you can also use Chrome. I have Chrome. Yeah, I have Chrome. Anyway, let me open Chrome. So often it happens that your Firefox installed in um, Ubuntu is a snap. And because of that, you can't enable extensions on GNOME. So that becomes a lot of problem. Hence, I'm showing you on. Hence, I'm showing this on my uh, google chrome so just search for github search for github and a y l u r dot files enter and there we go the first thing i guess no this one let me search a little bit okay if you can't get it you need to enter the url so it's obviously github.com slash a y l u r slash dot file just make sure to put the a to be capital just to be sure that you're entering the place so after that just click on code and download zip download the zip file make sure to download the zip or you can also git clone but in that case the zip will be just extracted out of it automatically so there you go open show it in folder and this is the main dot file now in order to in uh, install these you you have the gnome extension command command which you can install so so after the file is downloaded i just renamed it from dot files one uh, main one to dot files main and open the dot files and open widget extensions and just extract this zip zip folder or uh, zip file and then you just need to open the terminal there and let's go for gnome extensions install and right click on this rename just copy the file name and paste it Enter. and that's it they get installed now in order to uh, make sure everything works you need to restart the shell so for that um, you can restart or let me just see if uh, I can already apply the gnome shell extensions or not let me open the gnome shell extensions page or you can just go and search for extensions here yeah you also have that option okay as you can see there are uh, so you as you can see the extension is not visible now one extension will be updated on the next login but i've also installed uh, other extensions there so i need to check them out so let me just uh, log out from here and okay i need to stop the recording so i just restarted everything so you just need to press uh, go for alt plus f2 and there into enter l r uh, sorry and press the enter button that should work now i just didn't risk obs to get crashed so i had to i, I just closed it anyway uh, after you have done that let's open extensions again and i guess it will be visible so here you go in extensions and there you there you can see his uh, widgets are there now um a theme is installed so you can understand there is a theme uh, that is already installed let me first disable the theme that are there just open for gnome tweaks and there you can get all the themes that are currently being used for the shell it is using the orcus dark let's use the default theme and for the icons let's use mm, okay what's what's the default icons anyway 
okay let us leave the icons for the legacy applications we are going to use let's see let's use arc dark for the timing anyway okay we have our beta okay that's it now uh let us enable this these widgets click on that and the widgets will be enabled now you can see that the fedora logo is there so we are going to change that here you can get this workspace option you can switch between workspaces that also works here we have the application name which works and this this shows you a lot of informations for example you have the cpu load you have the ram and all the amount of storage being used that is there and and you get your a very different experience here so the sound change works the bluetooth i don't have bluetooth connected and here is the dark mode you can go for the light mode i won't mess with that because often it leads to problem and also the power menu has been changed to something like this now uh, we are going to do a bit more fixes because obviously we are not using fedora so we first need to change this icon that is being used so we are going to change it with a different art menu or something like that that should work and for the theme let us open chrome and i found a new theme which literally has no screenshots so i'm very excited to try that let's head over to gnome okay gnome come on gnome themes or you can also search for gtk themes i hope it is recording yeah so head over to gtk 3 or 4 themes and uh, you can select any themes from there but for my suggestion uh, let's see nick os theme now the nick os theme looks very much similar to another theme that is the sweet theme it's almost like he hasn't made any changes uh, in the sweet theme so instead of using nick os i think we can use sweet which also provides a lot of different options so you can go for the amber blue but just to get everything all in one zip you can definitely go for the nick os theme but they are almost the same there so this is the folder that we need now head over to home open dot themes there you have it drag and drop this now we just need to open tweaks was it already open go for the legacy application okay the theme is not visible that means it it was open so let, let me just open it again tweaks head over to parents legacy applications and there we get that wow that looks really nice i guess there should be a dark variant of this same amber blue uh, version mm, but i guess sadly there isn't any dark variant of the amber blue edition let's go for sweet dark okay so we downloaded the sweet amber blue theme but the problem is that this is a light theme but we need a darker variant of the same so we will not use this one yes we will be using this we we will be using this so uh, just go to the, the dot themes folder go to sweet amber blue and uh, head over to gtk 4.0 there you need to make some changes for example there is a gtk dark.css and a gtk .css. we don't need this gtk .css. we are going to rename it as gtk 1.css and we are going to make a uh, copy of this and rename it to gtk.css and we are going to do the same thing with gtk 3.0 just rename to gtk1.css and just copy and paste it over here rename it to gtk.css that should work now after this is done just head over to a different theme for example let's go to orcus and get back to the sweet amber blue as you can see it's using the amber blue variant everywhere also here we are going to we are using the amber blue variant and everything works properly just my username doesn't look correct because i don't have any picture added there so that's it now for the next step what you can do is just head over to sweet amber blue copy this okay copy the contents copy the contents of uh, the gtk4 folder head over to home dot config slash um, gtk 4.0 gtk gtk 4.0 we are going to delete everything that we have over here delete paste whatever we need that's it now it's done now let us open a gtk4 app for example extension uses gtk4 let's see how it works and as you can see the theming is perfectly done over here go to about extensions credits everything is themed accordingly okay so let's close this close this much of the work has been already done let us close all the windows that we have over here and it's really nice right now let's head over to okay i just now closed chrome anyway just open it back again now you need to search for some themes uh some extensions go to 
gnome shell extensions there you go gnome shell extensions and let us go for application menu let us add this one did it work oops there's an error anyway let's go for the arc menu try this one install okay so i guess with the with the extension which has been in uh, probably created for fedora it doesn't have the required things that we need so just head over to downloads let's see what's there inside the file hmm, media i guess reddit gmail fedora logo this is the file that we need to change now we need to change it to something that is uh, related to the one that we use for example let's open this svg file i guess i have any application i have one application thankfully to open this file so we just need to change this to something that is related to the operating system we are currently on so for the time being i'm not showing you the change but obviously in the final um, renders that you saw in the first part i guess i've changed that to the arch logo or the ubuntu logo whatever you want to use i will be having different variations of this theme created you can check them out from the uh, link in the description everything is provided there okay so after this is done um, let's let us just drop that topic for the time being now let us see uh, any other extensions if we can install so let's go for um, can we get a dock you have a floating dock already installed but i don't like this so i will just disable this one see if we can do this way and there we get the dock so let us disable the dock that i'm currently using head over to installed extensions and just let us remove all these now it's probably not working because of the widgets that is installed that is ailers widgets uh, which i have installed so let us disable floating dock that should work yeah now it looks really neat now for the icons we did not in install the icons let us go and install them okay let's head over to Cora icons gtk so search for that this is probably my favorite icon pack i've used it so many times in different theming purposes so we are going to definitely use the blue version which is the default download just wait for a few moments that's it done so we have the three folders here copy them open the file manager head over to home dot icons and copy and paste them here now nico is icon let us just move it to trash now open tweak go to appearance icons and cora check this out it's really nice go to start here matches the theming of the current setup so that's it done now for the i uh, for the background let us search for a good wallpaper i'm going to use that so let me just search so that's it. I found this. I uh, found this wallpaper from the internet. Now, uh, if you use this, it might happen that your themes get uh, changed to the to a default different theme. So for that case, just you need to head over to uh, tweaks. Just open tweaks and do all the steps that I have done there. That is, just change the themes there to all these, and then just restart the shell by entering r and pressing the enter button that should solve the problem anyway that's all till here now let's head over and install some concave just open the web browser and search for concave okay eyes are concave that is the theme that we are going to use click on download download the zip download this guy that is close blow close box 73 he has some awesome uh, Konki theme collection in uh, Leonis uh, in his uh, theme album that is Leonis another is Scorpion or something like a similar name like that he I'm currently using a lot of themes from him he also even commented in one of my videos thank you that's it just download oh we we have already downloaded okay uh, for the time being let's open the file manager and head over to dot themes uh, sorry dot config config slash conkey okay we don't have any folder called conkey so if you don't have any folder named conkey just create one conkey folder now let us see if conkey is actually installed or not conkey is not installed so it's to do pacman syu sy uh conkey okay, you don't need in full screen okay after the installation is done we are good to go now you just need to head over to uh folder named conkey and just extract all of the contents that are there uh, whatever you call it isar or isar whatever now open terminal dot slash dot dot sh enter wait for a few seconds and it will start there you go 
Now, uh, before we do anything, we first need to make sure that um, all the fonts are installed. So open the font and click on install. Okay, we already have most of them installed, so I'm not installing again. But uh, the one that you don't have, just install it for safety uh, so that uh, it is reflected here. Now for the next step that we need to do is head over to script there we have the weather dot sh and here it's using this city id you need to change that as i've sh also shown in my previous videos just head over to google chrome go through the uh, website that is weather.com slash weather open weather dot org slash find that's two now enter your city name for my it is kolkata so i enter kolkata and go for search click on kolkata and here you get the city id copy it paste it over here paste save it that's it done now for the next step just uh, we also need to do some edits here i guess and just change this value to true because it's again making some problems here weird problems okay it still not works now uh, change the own window color to six zeros there you go it works properly now uh let's see an icon does have all the icons but i don't know what problem with this one let's uh, restart i don't know this weird uh letter is coming over there let's see what's there in weather okay it's just running the script that is in weather.sh try something else. it should be 34 degrees celsius but unfortunately it's not showing that um i don't know what is the reason so we just do a restart again anyway i will try to get rid of that uh if i can and i will put the modified version of this con key in the description so that you can download for that so that's it now let me see if i can do some edits with the dock because it looks really small so let's see if i can do it from settings itself to open settings appearance no there is no option for changing the dock from here so what you can do is just head over to um, extensions we'll get the option from there go to extensions and there i don't think it's using the proper theme over here open files let's go to dot config gtk for this theme using just get back to dot themes sweet amber blue gtk4 Control a Control c paste done now let's reopen dot extension uh, extensions yeah now it's working fine now let's also head over to settings and even in settings it's using the proper theming now as you can see okay let's close the window now uh here i guess they will provide some settings yeah we have a settings option here uh we can change the dock size we can change the icon size let's make a little bit smaller okay mm, position is on the bottom of the screen it's intelligent auto hide is turned on which is okay and the dock size limit it's fine now let's close this let's open settings let's pin some applications on the dock or the dash whatever you like to call it then we can go get the calculator we can pin this some other applications for example if you would like to pin firefox you can also pin firefox if you want so pin it to dash that is it now if you open firefox you can see that it is using the a different theme so you can go to customize toolbar and click on title bar so it will use the theme that it's currently getting uh, used. Now for the other themes, you can definitely go to Firefox themes and there are a number of themes that are available for installation. So you can also go for that. Now you can also get the terminal to be added here, pin to that. 